Hey guys, welcome to Meals with Maria and a relaxing meal prep video. In these videos, I show you a little bit more than normal. We listen to some relaxing jazz type music and I'm just going to be cooking. It's a Sunday afternoon and I wanted to make a bunch of things, including these pretzel brownies, some five ingredient bagels, also known as two ingredient bagels if you were to have self-rising flour, and some goldfish chicken nuggets. I want to thank you guys all so much for being here today and I think this is going to be a really fun time. I absolutely love taking my Sunday afternoon to prep everything for the week for my family and just relax and cook the things that I've been seeing on Pinterest lately or in some cases some of my favorite recipes. This is a blueberry banana bread. I've actually only made them as muffins before, but this time I made them as bread and oh my goodness, it is so good. It is my absolute favorite recipe, so I'm so excited to share with you. The first thing I'm gonna make today is a fudge brownie, which is just a box fudge brownie from Aldi. Those are like 89 cents, so super inexpensive. Just following the instructions on the back of the package. And then we're just gonna zazz it up a bit by adding some pretzels. If you guys follow my videos, you know I have <laughs> excessive amounts of pretzels. I've been trying to figure out ways to use them. This was the perfect one. And then I'm gonna put a few little mini chocolate chips because I also had those in my cabinet over them just to kind of zazz them up with a sprinkle of some Malden sea salt. And these turned out absolutely incredible. The amazing thing about brownies is they're so inexpensive. You can make them and pretty much put anything you want on them. Like if you had some coconut flakes, go ahead and put those on. Or if you wanted to even do potato chips, that's an option. Pretty much the sky's the limit and you can take regular box brownies and make them into something amazing. Now that the brownies are out of the oven, you definitely want to make sure that they cool before you cut them because if you cut them right away, the brownies tend to stick to your knife and it's just not a good scene. So the next thing I'm going to make while those are cooling down is a blueberry banana bread. Now, like I said, I've made these as muffins before, but in the little oven that I'm working with during my kitchen renovation, just doesn't fit uh, a muff full muffin pan. And I already made mini muffins the other day. So I figured let's go with something different and make a bread out of this. Now, I know people have struggled to find, you know, the best blueberry muffin mix recipe or something better than a mix I would say that this is my absolute favorite and it is pretty close there I mean it definitely has that banana bread flavor to it 
but the batter is so smooth and creamy, it's absolutely delicious. So you just wanna mash up three bananas and add three quarters a cup of granulated sugar and one egg. Now mix that up well. Now I'm going to add in one teaspoon of baking soda, one teaspoon of baking powder, and a half a teaspoon of salt. And you just want to mix everything really well here. Now I believe the recipe does say to mix that into your dry ingredients, but I just never do that. I feel like we're getting everything pretty well mixed in with our hands here, so that's my process. And then I'm adding one and one half cups of white flour and mixing this all together. Now, when I was going back and looking at the recipe, I realized that it said to add a third a cup of butter, and I had never did that. And I'll tell you, it turned out amazing without it. So I'm not sure how necessary that step is. This bread still turned out so, so, so good. So I'm not concerned about the butter, but hey, if you have it, then add it. I'm sure it makes it even better. Who knows? Uh, I, I couldn't tell the difference from the last time that I had them, and I must have added the butter that time. So I just want to make sure that everything gets really well mixed here. And then once everything is incorporated, we're going to add our blueberries in. And then I'm pouring this into a loaf pan. I wasn't sure exactly how many uh, loaf pans I would need. So I put two out that were well uh, greased up and ended up only needing one. I made quite a large loaf, so I probably could have made two smaller loaves. And then I put this in the oven at... 375 degrees for a whole hour. When you're making something in a loaf pan like that, especially a larger uh, loaf of bread, you definitely need to cook it for quite some time. I definitely checked on it all the way through. I was using a smaller oven, so mine probably cooked a little bit differently, but what I would do is just set your oven to 375 and then put it in the oven and then check on it, you know, anytime after that half hour point just to see if it is done turned out great after a full hour it was fully cooked through now if you are making muffins out of this like the recipe recommends you can get these done in 15 to 20 minutes so you do 375 for 15 to 20 minutes for the muffins and they turn out perfectly as well now while those cook i'm just going to make my bagels so i need one cup of all-purpose flour two teaspoons of baking powder and if you have self-rising flour you can just use that instead then three quarters of a teaspoon of salt and one cup of non-fat Greek yogurt. And you just mix all of that together. So these are amazing homemade bagels. They do taste like a little bit like a sourdough bagel, but they are so, so good. So you just wanna mix everything until it's well incorporated and kind of crumbly. So it's this light and fluffy dough. And then you wanna form a ball with your dough. And then you want to break it into four portions. So the amount that I made today was for four bagels. I always say to myself, I need to make more of these. So if you want to have them for all week for everyone in your family, go ahead and double or triple the recipe. It's so, so simple. So once you break it into four portions, you want to take each of those and kind of make them into a little rope. Make sure to add extra flour to your workspace if you need it. I kind of ended up having to do it a little bit after. And then turn those ropes into little bagels. So you're actually just making your bagel shape out of those four pieces. And then you're going to put those on your baking sheet. And then take one egg, beat it up, and you're going to use that as a little egg wash for your outside of your bagels. The recipe that I'm using is a skinny taste recipe, so it says just to use egg white, but... I wasn't too concerned about that. I really just was craving these bagels. So I used regular egg and you paint that on there. And then you can put basically whatever you want on these. And then you could also put whatever you want in them. Like if you wanted to make them a uh, cinnamon raisin, go ahead and add some cinnamon raisins to it. If you wanted to put some onion flakes on the outside, make them onion bagels or maybe poppy seeds or sesame seeds. Any of those things are absolutely fine. I ended up going with everything bagel seasoning because I just absolutely love that. And then I just toast them up during the week and put some plain cream cheese on them. And they are just so amazing. And they're awesome because they're you know that you made them at home. And you know that they're also pretty healthy because they have all that Greek yogurt in there, which has a lot of protein and a lot of healthy elements. So once you've made your little bagels and everything looks good, you want to pop those in the oven at 375 degrees for 25 minutes.
Now I'm going to work on some goldfish nuggets. Now I saw these, I think it was an advertisement for goldfish on Pinterest, but I thought, oh my goodness, these seem so easy. They seem right up our alley. Seems like something I want to eat, like so delicious. So I'm just starting off by taking two chicken breasts and cutting them up into little nuggets and trimming off the fat. Now I'm gonna add about a cup of ranch dressing to my chicken and let it marinate while I work with my goldfish. So you just wanna mix this up really well, make sure that there's good coverage on this. And that's actually what's gonna make the goldfish stick to the chicken, which is kind of cool and adds a lot of good flavor. So I'm using an entire container of goldfish. You'll be surprised how little the entire container of goldfish becomes. So I'm putting mine into a Nutribullet. You could use a hand blender or a mixer or a regular blender, anything, a food processor, just to get it processed up. And so, yeah, that's how much it ends up being. So I'm like, wow, there's a lot of air in goldfish, right? That's kind of surprising to me. So I have my chicken and I have my mashed up goldfish here. I'm just gonna put some parchment paper in the bottom of my pan. Again, I'm using these pans because I'm using a small air fryer uh, toaster oven to cook these in. And then I'm just going to bread up all of the chicken. It gets really good coverage. The ranch dressing is super helpful for this. I was shocked at how many chicken nuggets this one recipe made just from two chicken breasts. This is awesome. It was going to feed my kids all week. So I'm just going to cook these at 400 degrees for 15 to 20 minutes and they end up turning out super crispy and delicious. So while those are cooking, it's time to cut up my brownies and get those all set up. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I love frozen brownies. So after today, I'm probably just going to place them in the freezer and then grab one out of the freezer when I want one, which is so, so good with a cup of tea as well.
Today was a great day. Everything I made turned out amazing. You can see the brownies look phenomenal. The bagels turned out perfect once they came out of the oven. They've already cooled off here. They look so, so great. I just want to thank you all so much for watching today. I appreciate you all so much. If you're new here, do not forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any more videos like this, as well as extreme grocery budget challenges, other budget-friendly videos, and grocery hauls. And make sure to give this video a thumbs up because it deserves it. All this food is so good. I just want to show you guys the inside of the bagels, kind of what they look like. It's amazing what you can do with a little bit of Greek yogurt and flour. This is my blueberry bread. I mean, look at that, guys. It was absolutely perfect. I couldn't believe it. So, so happy with how that turned out and delicious. Let me tell you, take a look in here. This is awesome. You can see what I was saying about the inside of it. Just so, so moist and amazing. And here are the chicken nuggets when they come out too. They're so crispy and flavorful. Like I could taste the goldfish. So I absolutely love that. And look how moist these are. So much better than store-bought or frozen chicken nuggets. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you all very soon. Someone like you, like you.